We're asked to approximate the solution to the given equation using Newton's method, and the Newton's method calculator provided, and we're told to round to 10 decimal places. We are given the equation x squared equals five. Remember, Newton's method uses tangent lines to approximate zeros of functions, and the formula for Newton's method is shown here. But this problem's a little bit different. We need to write a function where the zeros or x-intercepts would be the solutions to the equation, which means we need to set this equation equal to zero. Notice how if we subtract five on both sides, we have x squared minus five equals zero. And therefore, when using Newton's method, we will use the function x squared minus five. The zeros of the function f of x equals x squared minus five will give us the solutions to the given equation. And if f of x equals x squared minus five, f prime of x, also required for Newton's method, is two x. Now there is one more thing you have to be careful about here. If we take a look at this equation, we know there is going to be a positive and negative solution. So what we'll do is use Newton's method to approximate the positive solution to 10 decimal places. And then from there we can determine the corresponding negative solution. Before we start Newton's method though, we do have to make an initial approximation, which is referred to as x sub zero, or sometimes x sub one. So for x sub zero, notice two squared is equal to four, which means the positive solution is going to be more than two. Let's just use x sub zero equals 2.1. And because we're asked to round the answer to 10 decimal places, what we'll do is use the Newton's method calculator and run enough iterations until the approximations are the same, rounded to 10 decimal places. So now let's go to the more Newton's method application. First we enter the function x squared minus five. Next we enter f prime of x, which is two x. Next we have x sub zero, our initial approximation, which we selected as 2.1. And now n is going to be the number of iterations we run. Let's go ahead and select n equals five. And again, we will run this until the approximations are the same, rounded to 10 decimal places. And therefore, we may have to come back and change this. Now we scroll down and click Submit. Scroll down again to see the results. Notice x sub four and x sub five are the same, way past 10 decimal places. And therefore, we'll round this value to 10 decimal places as our positive approximation for one of the solutions to the equation. Notice the four is in the 10th decimal place. Because we have a nine to the right, we round up. The positive approximation is 2.23607679775. Let's go back and record this. So again, the positive solution to 10 decimal places is 2.23607975. And again, we know for the equation x squared equals five, we're going to have a positive and negative solution. And of course, the second solution to 10 decimal places will be negative 2.23607975. Then let's just check this on the calculator. Notice the calculator does show the square of both of these values is equal to five, but that's not actually true. It's just so close to five, the calculator is giving a value of five. But this does verify our approximations, our excellent approximations for the actual solutions, which we should recognize as plus or minus square root five. I hope you found this helpful.